hello friends my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial in this video tutorial we are going to write a uh, uh, store functions in MySQL database so first of all we'll write a store function uh, SQL function uh, in MySQL database after that we'll try to call from the uh, JDBC using callable statements so here I have a schema is called JDBC uh, let's try to create a uh, function so we have a routines uh, directory right click on the routine directory then we have a two options procedures create procedure which already we have done earlier uh, and now we are going to select this option create function so let's select this option and now a template is provided to create a functions right so here i'm going to write a function get average a v g and here basically i'm going to take two input parameter right so n1 is my first input parameter the as an integer and uh, i would say n2 that is my second input parameter and both are integer now uh, it returns integer itself and that begin a store procedure begins sorry a store function begins from here and ending here here i'm going to declare a variable a variable and uh, a v g sorry a v z num and data type would be integer itself so let's declare as a integer and you will have to write a keyword set uh, this we have declared this variable now we are going to write a very small uh, business logic just will add these two numbers and divide by two so that we can get the average of these two number right so in your real projects you may have a very complex functions right but here my agenda is to show you how to call uh, mysql function uh, from um, uh, jdbc so uh, creation of jdbc i have kept very uh, small one and simple one so stored procedure has a different uh, I mean, uh, different uh, sections like declaration sections, then you have a store procedure, body, business logic, and you have exceptional handling section, and all. So, for better, and um, if you want to, uh, or, uh, if, if you want to deep dive session on this, then you can may refer a lot of websites on the internet. They, are, uh, they will show you how to write complex uh, MySQL functions. But here, I have written a very uh, simple functions which uh, takes two input parameter as integer and uh, returns us the average of these two so let's apply okay and this store functions i am going to put into the this db script okay now we have created this uh, our own custom store functions how to call it so from let's say call get a v z and here it'll pass 12 and 14 so we are expecting to get 13 as a result right so because average of these two number is 13 and here we are getting so this way you can call a store procedure from uh, mysql workbench or toad or whatever tool you are using now let's ha, let's see how to call it from the uh, jdbc so here i have created a project calling mysql functions using callable statement and here i have a db util program which helps me to give it give us the database connection so here all database credential as well as driver information i have declared over here I uh, create a static block which there I am trying to load the uh, driver JDBC driver and just I am taking connection from the driver manager by passing database uh, URL username and password and uh, I have created a static method uh, so that we can call this method by this class name from the client program and this collection will be returned to the client so pretty straightforward and here what I have he, from here I'll try to call the store procedure so let's see how to call the state procedure so store procedures 
uh, sorry store functions or MySQL functions always returns you some result so that results is unknown that we do, we don't know what result is coming it's a dynamic so let's whatever after invoking this store uh, functions whatever result is coming we are storing in this placeholder now let's write a keyword call and you need to specify the uh, your store function name so get avg and this takes two input parameters so two placeholder you will have to specify so from if you take from the left this is first placeholder second and the, then third so input output placeholder uh, index is one and first input uh, first input parameter uh, index is two and third is also output so index of three so now here i am using try with resources uh, in previous video i have discussed about what is try with resources here i have declared three resources uh, connection callable statement and a scanner why a scanner i am going to take input from the keyboard so uh, i would say uh, a scanner as a method is called int next so i will ask the user to uh, enter first number that is called n1 so here i will prompt a message enter first number so this will store in n1 again this i am going to prompt another message to the user saying that enter enter second number and this will store in the variable n2 now we have a callable statement and here first parameter is represents the output parameter first index represents output parameter and our, in previous video tutorial uh, we have seen when you call even a store procedure then output parameter always you will have to register so for when you call uh, a store function and that store functions has some output parameter that parameter also will have to register in similar fashion so here i have registered the first output parameter with index one now uh, sorry output parameter we have registered as one for input parameter you don't need to register you need to set by calling the setter method of uh, call level statement so we have a call level statement and let's set these two parameter so set int because this is integer index of first input parameter is two so now n1 you are going to set and similarly you set the second input parameter which, which is which is the index as a 3 so I would say and now a cs dot you will have to execute this function by calling execute method so just I am execute executing it and how to get the result then you will have to call the cs callable statement object then get in your type of output parameter is integer which already we have registered so get in and what is the index one so one you need to specify that's it you'll get the result and uh, let me check out what database here database name i should have if i should give jdbc sorry db right because that that is store functions we have written in jdbc db if i run it saying that first number I am going 12 second I am specifying th uh, 13 so uh, average of these two is 13 now let's run it again so first number I am entering 20 second 60 so 20 plus 60 80 so we are expecting 40 and that result we are getting from the stored function by calling the stored function so i hope you understood how to write uh, a function custom function sql function uh, in mysql database and how to call it from jdbc by using callable statement right so i hope you enjoyed learning this i'm going to upload this code on the github and github location i will specify in video description if you like this video then please please hit on the subscribe button which is the below to the video itself so thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial